What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology this is tutorial 22 and today's topic will be uh, inline image markup and this is most likely related to paragraph so guys uh, probably uh, now things are getting more confused like we started with the report lab within the report lab we already uh, completed uh, many uh, components so now our component is paragraph or the flowable object and within the paragraph flowable object we are actually going one by one with each and every aspects of paragraph so right now our topic is inline markup and within that inline markup we are using uh, or we are going to talk about image markup like how we can create or embed inline uh, image using uh, the available uh, methods or uh, like uh, process or like uh, techniques okay so how to add inline image in paragraph so that is the most important thing or fundamental uh, like topic for this tutorial so let me write down this thing first from report lab dot platypus para paragraph one is simple doc template okay so next thing is going to be from report lab dot leap dot styles import get sample style sheet so first thing first we'll create one pdf file object so we'll use this method we'll pass the argument and the name only so this is going to be tutorial tutorial 22 dot pdf next we'll uh, define the flowable object flow object and definitely it will be a blank list okay then we'll define the styles it will be kind of uh, get sample sh style sheet okay and our text will be kind of this and this okay this is our logo okay and we'll use some sort of uh, what do you say paragraph text for this thing p underscore text this is very simple guys i believe all of you are familiar with this thing now text and we'll use style is sty styles normal okay and flow object dot appen is going to be p underscore text and then we'll build this thing using pdf dot build and within that will be flow underscore object so that's it so if you run this thing it will create a simple uh, pdf with this line okay so let's run this thing first so let's refresh this thing okay see it is created now now what i'll do i'll try to put some uh, image so this is our logo so we'll try to use that okay so image src okay I'm not sure whether it is img or image so we'll see it okay so logo dot jpg and width is 50 height is even let's say 50 kind of square mm, what i'll do this then hope you guys like it that's it let's run this thing okay so probably we'll get an image in between that okay this is our logo hope you guys like it this is very simple guys so you can see this is our logo actually this logo is coming from here we actually embedded uh, this logo has been embedded from here okay so this is very simple tutorial guys so what i'll do i'll just try to um, just give a copy paste of this thing
well let me just bit minimize or not minimize small well fine so source code is here so if someone is looking for the source code can easily get this thing okay so next thing is that how to append multiple paragraph with inline image so now there is only one paragraph if you open this file there is only one paragraph probably would like to write something else or you need to append so how to do that okay so this is one paragraph is done so what will uh, what will happen now um let's say let's say we will use text again and next paragraph with our logo and we'll use the same thing again okay now let's see what happens now okay so this is this we need to write this thing again okay so it is done but now something messed messed up see it's already messed up over here right so now we need to like fix this thing how to fix that so to fix this thing what you have to do you have to write styles normal dot space after equals to probably 50 probably 60 okay so let's run this thing now see so this is actually height is 50 right height is 50 so what is what is there so this is covered like until 50 and up uh, if I say like space after so after this paragraph there will be like 60 in this direction it will be blank so if I put it like this 50 it will be like kind of uh, overlapped so let's open this thing now okay uh, let me try with 40 okay see like this so 40 means it start from here and from here to here it is 50 so this is 40 actually and as just because it is starting from here it is actually touch this thing so this is a very simple thing and hope you guys uh, understood how to create multiple paragraph using this thing you can you can even use spacer method as well so what i'll do uh, i will uh, copy paste this thing and put it here oh no why this is like this and i can make it smaller size okay code is there users of space after users of space after so you already seen like to create space between the end of one paragraph to create we use this method this sorry this is not meta this is the attribute okay so that's all guys i hope you guys like the tutorial and definitely we'll get some sort of idea how to create pdf with image how to create or append multiple pdfs uh, sorry multiple paragraph within a single pdf and how to create some sort of alignment between all those paragraphs so 
this is very basic thing and again very very important things for creating any sort of report cause ultimately in the report you have to write some content it is not like that you are going to write uh, or draw some picture you need to put some sort of content and content only looks nice if you put uh, the alignment right you put uh, like spacing right you create nice looking like uh, flow of the document should be consistent so for that reason you definitely need to have some sort of like uh, spacing or paragraph or alignment so report lab gives everything so if you know how to write up uh, your paragraph or the content in the form of paragraph with respective to the uh, previous or the next paragraph uh, like spacing then it will definitely look nice once you create this report so that's all guys that is the main essence of this tutorial hope you guys understand something and definitely try to come up with some sort of nice uh, ideas for your future projects so that's all guys hope to see in the next video till then take care goodbye and please 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 watch our channel watch our other videos as well if you want you can join us our uh, facebook page as well and if you have some suggestion comment feedback please write me i will try to improve our quality as well and those are watching our videos from udemy guys please uh, communicate with me via mass via messaging platform from udemy or like you can open put your question as an open question in the forum or you can write me directly i'll definitely try to answer so that's it guys that's it for today hope to see in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice weekend <laughs>